Hey, people of the Tumblr machine, I'm Jamie, and my thing, my URL is without a little risk, and people want to see how I do my makeup. So, my friend Katie is awesome at things that I can't do, like video and photography, and she, oh, I shouldn't look there, and she, <laughs> she's gonna help me film my face and how I make it look like my face, but this is what my face looks like without makeup, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't, I'm gonna show you it with more stuff on it, so maybe you'll like it then. I don't know. Or maybe you'll like it with John makeup. I do that too. Maybe I'll do a thing for that one day. Maybe I won't. Do I look like I give a heck? No. This is eyeliner. You gotta hold it up for where your face is. This? Yes. Is eyeliner. <laughs> it's Clinique. It's like a really soft pencil, because people are like, oh, you use a pencil? And I'm like, but it's like... This one's all smushy, but it's like, boom. The first thing I do, and this is gonna sound really ghetto and unconventional, but I don't use brushes, I use Q-tips. And I wet them in my mouth, and that sounds gross, but it works, and it gives you really clean lines, and I don't really give a fuck. Start on my lower lash line, and I actually go straight up in my waterline, and a lot of people can't do that, but I've done theater since I was seven, and I'm immune to anything going in my eye or around my eye, and I just don't care. Like all up in the hair. And then that's bottom stuff. That sounds like a fanfic term. Yeah. <laughs> bottom stuff featuring Dean Winchester. No! <laughs> she cut that. Oops. Second thing I do, more janky. Oh, actually, do I have a different white? There's this trick that people use where you, no, that's really stupid, where you take white and you put it usually like around here in your eye because it makes your eyes look really big. And I actually have really tiny eyes. They just look big because I do this. And I literally just take white and put it like right up in here. And just do that. And then because that's really like white, I just take another Q-tip and like smush it so it isn't as up in your face. Second thing I do is really messed up looking mascara. Hooray. This one is like a recent one. This one's like a month old. Because what happens is if it gets really clumpy, I just keep an old one and I go over my eyelashes once I'm done, like when they're still wet, and it just like evens them out so they're not clumpy. I was blessed by God with really curly eyelashes. So I've never used an eyelash curler in my life and I don't oh. want to because they scare me. But if you use those, this is where you'd want to use those. Both ways when I do mascara, like, and I get all up in, like I don't just do the corners or I don't just do the inside, like every single fucking eyelash and you go back and forth, like up and then down and just do that a bunch of times and I blink while I'm doing it and I probably look really weird, but I don't care. So this is the tricky part that I get really meticulous about that a lot of people can't do and that sounds really mean, but it's it's difficult. Like I literally get, is this okay? Like to, can you see me? Yes, now I can. I get like right up here, like literally, and then I blink and just draw a line. Something is in my actual eye and I just draw a line like straight down. But then once it gets to like this point, I kind of do this little wingtip within my eye. I honestly don't know how to explain it. I don't know how I came up with this. There is no... Your phone sounds like it's drinking water. I get that. But literally like inward wingtip. Inward wingtip where you awkwardly blink your eye to get the freaking thing on it so it doesn't get all mushy. And then once you get to this part, you like, I always like make my face really long just so it stretches it out, I don't know. But, like. Baby, inward wing tips, hooray. And then top stuff, which is literally just pull your eye and smudge eyeliner all up along your top lash line.
Next, I do my wingtips, which I just trust my instincts and go for it. I trust my white Jewish instincts <laughs> and take inspiration from my ancestors and wingtips. Are the Jewish known for their wingtips? Yes, they are, and they're matzo ball soup. Okay, this is the weirdest part where I do things and people are probably like, you can do that so much easier if you just do- yeah, I know, but <laughs> this is my eyeshadow, which is running out. It's Urban Decay, twice baked, it's called. It's literally just shiny Hold brown. it up in front of your face. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Look at it. Oh. <laughs> so, wet your Q-tip in your mouth, because that's what I do. Good. Keeping. This is weird because I only do it, it's really calculated how I do it, but I start out literally just putting it on my eye. So either I use Q-tips for this step, or just because it's easier and save time, makeup remover and wipe. Pons. These are my best friend when I want to take my makeup off and when I'm doing my makeup. I go through a lot of them, but they're not that expensive. I put it, like I wrap it kind of on my finger, and I sort of start to take away parts of my eyeshadow that I know are not supposed to be there. Like, there's this big chunk that just goes outside of where it should be, and I start to like use the tip of the wingtip as like a line, like a guiding line, and keep everything inside there. Okay, now that you've got somewhat this, you thin it out even more, this time with Q-tips. And I wish that I could be like, once you get to this shape and this whatever, I just go by my gut, like, oh, that looks good on that side. And I start to fill in, I start to take out, just until it looks good. Okay, once this is to your liking, and you've stopped fucking with it, just go in again. Back to the white, because the white is still really bright, and I usually just soften that again once everything else is on there. And then by when I soften the white, it always ends up smudging the weird little inner things that I do, so I just go over those again. And then I think... I'm almost done. Now, when you are not talking through it, how long does it take you? When I'm not talking through it? Yeah. When you're just doing it every um, morning. Like, if I literally take my time because I just woke up like 15 minutes. Ooh. And that's with my hair, which takes like two minutes. And then, I don't know if y'all want face makeup, but literally all I do, because I'll show you anyway while I'm here, I take this. It's 115 Fit Maybelline. And I take another one of my trusty Q-tips, and I just put it on places of my face that are blotchy. Mm. Goodness, okay. Bang. And then, last thing ever, I take Bare Minerals. I don't know what this is, medium powder, just to set it because the foundation is liquid and liquid foundation comes off really easily. Where's my brush? So to set it, I take a little brush and I just, and that is it. That's my face. 